Welcome to this session on creating a sheet seed. So in this final session, we're going to create a sheet seed to match the sheet seed that's in the drawing template. So when you create drawings using the, the dynamic view process, you will be using the, the sheet seeds that are a part of the, the drawing seed template. However, there's going to be times where you just want a new sheet. Maybe you're doing some 2D drawing on it or setting up schedules or, or so forth, and you want that to match. The, the sheet seed that's in your template. So we're going to create a sheet seed from the one we just created for the, the ARC floor plan. And I'm going to create this in my company workspace as well. So I'm going to just do a save as in order to do this. And it's possible to save as and select the models that you want to keep. And so we really just need this sheet model. So I'm going to go to File and use Save As. And I'm going to put this into my seed folder. And of course, I want to save it as a V8 DGN file format. And then I'll name it Sheet Seed XYZ. And in one of the other courses on setting up your custom configured workspace, we looked at how to reset the configuration to look to this workspace folder for the seed files. So it'll find our new Sheet Seed. Now, I'm going to go down to this Options tab and set up some of the options. I don't need to remap anything. I want to take a look at the references. So if I had any self-attachments, I'm just going to admit those. External attachments I'll retain because we already have that border attached, and we'll, we'll just retain that. We're not doing any merging, so this doesn't have any effect. I'm going to then go to the Filter. We're going to select everything in terms of geometry, but here's where I can select the models. And so I'm just going to select that arc floor plan sheet. I want to make sure I select the sheet model. That is the one at this point that I want to match for my sheet seat. Now, because it's linked to the drawing and the design model, it is going to convert those as well, and then we'll, we'll detach the references that are in there. But this will get us a, a nice clean sheet seat. I'm going to select OK. And then there's a number of things that can be included in that sheet seed. I'm actually checking all of these off. I want a, a very basic sheet seed. I don't want anything I might have saved in this file. For instance, all those saved views, I don't want to bring those with it. No need to bring any shared cell instances and so forth. So we'll leave it at that. I'm going to select OK. I've got the name there. I'll say Save. It is going to ask me if I want to replace that one since I had it in there. I'm going to say yes. And now it's opened up this new sheet seed XYZ. And you can see the border is attached here. I've already got the, the text in here that we put in earlier. Since this is going to be a clean sheet seed, I may not want those drawing boundaries. And so I can just delete those. I am going to open the reference dialog and make sure I have no other references attached. So I only have that project border reference attached just as I want. And let me go ahead and open the models dialog. Now you can see I do have the, the design and the drawing model as well. We'll take a look at those in a minute, but I may want to first just rename these so that they're more generic. The drawing can just say drawing. And the sheet, we'll just call sheet. So let's go ahead and look at the drawing model. I can see I do have that reference attached, the, the design model. I'll go ahead and detach that here just to clean it up. And I'm going to do the same in the design model. So now we have clean models. We have that design and drawing model. You may not use those, but you might, in certain instances, want a drawing model within your sheet file. So perhaps if you're doing some 2D details, you would draw them in the drawing model and then reference them into the sheet and place them on the sheet accordingly. So the models will be there should you need them. I take one more look and just double check that we haven't brought any saved views in. And we can see that that's empty just as it should be. So we want a nice clean sheet seed. Go back, take a look at the sheet. 
So all we have in here is the border attached, and then we have our, our text that we put in here, and it matches what's in our template. So now we have a nice sheet seed all set up as well. In the final session, I'll open up a, a model and create a floor plan using our new drawing seed template with all of our customizations. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.